Hi guys, a huge thank you to Andy and Piers for making me this week's lucky winner of the swing analysis on Me and My Golf TV and for sorting out my game. So let's dive into it. Let's take charge of your game. Okay guys, it's my swing and eyes, and as you can see, Johnson Futural is this week's lucky winner. Well John. done, congratulations. So guys, my swing analysis, this is where we analyse one of your golf swings to help you take charge of your game. Perfect, so if you want to get involved guys, make sure you go to the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram today and enter the competition. It could be you uh, that we're helping improve your golf this year. Absolutely, so before we get started into this, we've got a shout out. We another one. Another hole in one. <laughs> Matthew Turnbull. We're not doing any more, any more shout outs again if it's a hole in one. We don't want to hear them anymore. Unfortunately, <laughs> Matthew, if you didn't realise already, Andy hasn't had any yet. Not but yet. I'm sure he will not do yet. one day. I'm going to get one just for the camera though. It's going to be a special one, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. So, uh, Matthew, we'd actually know what club it was and what the yardage was, so post your comments down below. We'd like to have a, we'd like to find out. Yeah. We'd like to find out. Anyone else who's had a hole in one as well, post your comments down below. Send us your no pictures. More, no we'll more. put them all we'll in. Not put any more. Okay, right. So, Jonathan is. Um, He's been playing golf uh, not for very long. He's an 18 handicap, which is obviously a good start. He's going away, actually, in a few weeks, I think, on a golfing trip. So he wants to improve his consistency with his long game and maybe his contact with his irons a little bit. Yeah, struggling a little bit. So struggling a little bit with his contact. But main thing is he wants to get his driving sorted in a short uh, space of time as well. So that's what we've, we've thought about looking at your golf swing. How can we get you improving the quickest? Maximum improvement. With a maximum improvement. So let's have a look at the golf swing first of all let's play the goal swing first we can see looks like a really strong guy lots of power there and um, when we look down the line we can see that yes there's a few things we may want to change with the club face position the grip perhaps needs some work I think what we're going to do is we're going to send you some videos that you can have a look at to help improve the grip and your club face relationship but we're going to really work at the front view here so if we go into the front view we'll see that as you swing back the lower body has some instability in it, doesn't it, Andy? So the lower body is unstable, a bit of a sway in the backswing, and the upper body over rotates. So yeah. when the lower body is unstable like that, we get this over rotation. Now, from this position here, it's very difficult then to transfer weight efficiently through the ball to get that consistent strike as he's hitting it. So yeah. we, we see it a lot, Andy, don't you know? I always like to use the analogy that when you are, it's like a running race almost, your backswing is like getting set up in the blocks, loading yourself up ready to then explode out through to the target. If you're not standing, if you're not prepared in the blocks correctly, then it's going to make it a lot harder for you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And there's just a little bit too much movement, really. You yeah. know, there's, if we can just get more stability, you know, sometimes <coughs> less Excuse is me. more. And in your case, John, definitely less is more. And if we can control your lower body, control the torso a little bit better, you're going to see the efficiency. And this is the important, that word consistency that we hear so much. You're going to improve that consistency no end, especially with that contact. OK, so what we need is we need a drill that's going to get the lower body stable, which is then going to allow Jonathan to control his upper body. So, Andy, what okay, have we got? OK, so, let's, so what we're going to do, just a bit of a progression drill here, John. What we're going to get you focusing on doing, really, is a single leg supported. So we're going to go ahead first without actually holding the golf club. We're going to set yourself up with your trail leg in front here, with the, the, lead, the sort of uh, your lead leg just behind you. Now, from here, all we're going to do, this one's going to support you, this left leg here. We're going to get yourself into golf posture. And all we're going to do is make some rotations here. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to really challenge the, the trail side to keep you stable. It's going to limit the amount you can turn. So we're going to make some rotations here. And you're going to notice that I can't really turn that much. I can't over rotate from here. But also, I can't sway. If I was to sway here, I'm going to lose my balance. And you can yeah. see the upper body is going to do some funky things. So from here, I'm rotating into a stable base. You're going to feel this right side really working hard to keep that stable um, side. And then from here now, upper body's just turning. Yeah, you can see it's very important when you're doing this, Jonathan, that you, you're aware on what the right leg is doing. Now, Andy's leg is hardly moving. He's making this look very easy. It is challenging. But we need to get, you look like you've got a good strong leg, so you should be okay here. So that lower body, we've got to get you to really feel what that's like to do that. Now Andy's going to go in and hit some shots doing this, I think. So I want to just, again, just sort of get the feeling now of what it's like to do with the golf club. Now, you can see here, I can hardly turn at all here. My right side is on fire now. I'm really working hard to stabilise that. And it's good. this is going to restrict everything. Yeah. Let's go ahead and hit a shot. Yeah, just hit doing one doing that. that. Normally we'd do this with an iron, but I think because you want to work at the long game, let's go with it with a driver. So the, lead, the lead leg's just supporting me here. I'm just going to restrict it. 
I think you should do that all the time. Not bad, is it? But so, again, you can, the, what I'm working on there, it's not about the power, it's not about trying to hit it hard, it's just about keeping stable. And you yeah. can see I even kept my balance there, and that is quite hard to do for somebody who's so you know, unstable in that backswing. Absolutely, so the, the key from there is to do the drill and then hit a shot. So if you, had, if you went to the driving range and say you're gonna hit 20 drives, you'd go alternating 10 with the, 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 the single leg supported, and then 10 normal. Okay, so we go with the normal now, Andy, then, yeah? Okay, so let's go, go normal. So the same feeling there now. I can really feel the right side being challenged there. I'm going to have the same feeling, that right side, the stability side. And there we have it. I think really important, Andy, that when you, when you do that is, you know, you are very much conscious of having a shorter backswing. Correct. Then and make, so don't be afraid to feel as though your swing's a little bit short. You'll, it'll feel... It'll feel very short, but it probably actually won't be. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, when they shorten their swings, they don't actually shorten it a great deal. It's that but feeling real, isn't it? Yeah, feeling real, absolutely. It's about getting that lower body stability. That will then control that torso. Definitely. That's the way to go. Okay, Jonathan, I hope that helps. I hope that helps you get prepared as well for that golfing trip with the boys. And for you guys at home, post your questions on that. If you've got any questions, please post them down below. We'd love to get back to you. And also, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Click the link below for more free videos every single week. Absolutely. And also, guys, if you love your fantasy sports, you've probably heard of DraftKings. If you haven't, go and check out DraftKings. Tell them me and MyGolf sent you. Go to DraftKings. Use the promo code MyGolf. Post your comments down below. Let us know how you get on. And don't forget also, guys, the website, meandmygolf.com, for lots more great videos as well. See Cheers, you guys. Thanks a lot.